Hello everyone. In today's session, we will create a virtual machine on the Azure portal with the required specification for hosting the web application. So let's consider a scenario. You are a junior cloud administrator tasked with provisioning a new virtual machine on the Azure cloud platform. For a development project, you need to set up a virtual machine to run a web application for testing purposes. The application requires a specific operating system and configuration that can be easily managed and scaled in the cloud environment. The objective of this lab is to successfully create a virtual machine on the Azure portal with the required specification for hosting the web application. So let's quickly move on and log into the Azure portal. I've already logged in. This is the home page of the Azure portal. So let's navigate to the virtual machines. You can go to virtual machines by clicking directly over here. You can even type in the search bar or on the left menu, you can click on the virtual machines. I will simply click over here and navigate to virtual machines. Then to create a new virtual machine, I will click on create button, Azure virtual machine. Now here, I can see we have an option of subscription. My op I have choose pay as you go model. Then my resource group. I can simply choose any resource group I have already made. I will choose AZ104. That's it. Then we can give a name to the virtual machine. I will give a name VM01. Sorry, 001. I can choose a region. These are all the regions we already have. So I will choose US East. Then we can choose an availability zone and then leave the rest as it is. Then here I will give a username. Let's say we are giving as your user one. I will give a password. The password should be strong. Both the password should match. Then I can select a public inboard, inbound ports. It's already selected or you can, I can even change over here. So I will select SH22 port. Then click on next. Here you can create a disk. And this is the default disk that is already present. For creating a new disk, you can simply click on create and attach a new disk. Here you can give a name, source type and size. Or you can even leave it as default. Click on OK. You can see this disk is created. I will leave it as the default disk and delete this disk that I just created. It was just to demonstrate how to create a new disk. Then I will click on next networking. Over here I can leave the networking options as it is as default. Then I can click on next management. I can even leave this option as default. This is the monitoring option. You can choose any option you want as require as your own your requirement then click on next advance since we're only creating a basic and a simple virtual machine so i'm gonna click on next here you can give a name to your tag and provide a value to it i'm gonna skip this step as well by clicking on review and create this is going to run a validation so the validation is passed and you can see and review everything that you have already provided. You can review the name and the subscription resource group and all the information. And then you can simply click, click on create.
Now you can monitor the deployment progress and wait for the virtual machine to be successfully created. It's going to take a few minutes. Once the deployment regret, uh, deployment is finished, you can see the resource. But right now it's in progress. This will take a few minutes. So you can see the resources are in progress. These are all the resources that are made. This takes a few minutes usually. You can see the virtual machine is created and a, and a few resources are created. It's uh, still in process. Okay. So your deployment is completed. Go to resources. Here you can see this is the dashboard of your virtual machine. I named it VM001. This is the resource group. This is the status that is running. The subscription is pay as you go. You can see the size. You can see the public IP address. And you can see all the essential you know information about your VM these are the properties you can go through it and you can simply click on monitoring here it will show the health events there is no issues as of yet the performance and utilization you can click on capabilities to see recommendations and you can even see the tutorials right so after this, you can see that you have the option to stop the virtual machine. You can even restart it and delete it. You can even connect it using this button. You can simply connect it or even connect it with Bastion. Okay, so you can explore all you want on this page. This is basically the dashboard of your virtual machine. So now, lastly, I'm going to show you how you can delete this virtual machine when you're all done and you have complete it whatever you want to do so simply click on delete click on apply force delete this will basically delete it immediately and click on everything that you want to delete like I want to click I want to delete everything that I already created then I can click on I have read and understood that this virtual machine as well as any selected associated resources listed above will be deleted and simply click on delete it says updating associated resources. 
this is giving the progress deleting virtual machine okay let me go to resource It's deleted. That's why the virtual machine resource was not found. It may have been deleted. So yes, we have successfully deleted our virtual machine. We can go to home. We can check virtual machine. And yes, the VM001 is not there. So it has been successfully deleted. So that's it. Congratulations, you have successfully created a virtual machine on the Azure portal to host, the web, to host a web application. And you have also learned how to delete it. That's it for today. Thank you.